An antiderivative of a given function f is a differentiable function whose derivative is the given function. For example, the derivative of cosine is the function negative sine. On the other hand, one antiderivative of cosine is the function sine. Another antiderivative of cosine is the function sin x plus 1. Another antiderivative of cosine is the function sin x plus 2. In fact, if c is any constant, then the function sin x plus c is an antiderivative of cosine. Any antiderivative of cosine is of the form sin x plus c, where c is a constant. By the indefinite integral of cosine we mean the collection of all its antiderivatives, that is, the collection of all functions of the form sin x plus c where c is a constant. To repeat, the indefinite integral of cosine is the set of all functions of the form sin x plus c, where c is any constant. The above picture shows some antiderivatives of cosine. Derivatives and antiderivatives of exponential functions are shown in this table. The indefinite integral of the exponential function is the collection of all its antiderivatives, that is, the collection of all functions of the form e to the x plus a constant. The indefinite integral of the exponential function b to the x, where b is a positive constant, is the collection of all functions given by this formula. This table shows derivative and antiderivative of the function x to the n n is not negative 1. Note that the formula on the right is the power rule. An analog for the power rule for integration is shown on the left. This formula is useful. It can be used to find the most general antiderivative, that is, the indefinite integral, of the function, 2x to the 1 third. Details are displayed. I don't want to read it.